I'm here with Chef Ahina today. He's proven in the past he can handle the heat in the kitchen, but we're going to see today if he can handle the heat of these peppers. I'm Tegan Hamlet, and this is Rivalry Report. I'm going to start off with a few udon noodles made by Kainoa Ahina. Yeah, thank you Kainoa for making these. Shout out to Kainoa. Um, not very spicy, but just something to get us warmed up a bit. All right. Wait, hang on. If you want to be legit, you got some chopsticks? Mm. I would prefer that, I right. guess. So? So this is a competition. It's a competition. Someone's gonna lose tonight. Someone's gonna lose. Whoever taps out first. Yeah, we can make this a big deal. He does seem like a fun guy. So basically, Mr. Ahina, Chef Ahina, is our culinary teacher and head of the culinary team. He's amazing, he's been to state multiple times, and I think pretty much everyone at the school knows that, but not a lot of people know about your past and that you grew up in Hawaii. And I actually heard you were on a TV show at Hawaii. Yeah, yeah that happened. What show was it? Uh, so it was Magnum PI. Mm. Um, you probably heard of it because they just uh, started the remake. Mm -hmm. um, they brought it back, and um, yeah, my character was the plot of one whole episode. He saw me while he was uh, deep sea diving one day, and he actually saw my ghost, because I, I died years ago. And um, the whole episode was him figuring out who I was and how I died. Turns out, my dad killed me. Oh. Yeah. For insurance money. Yeah. Did you ever pursue acting more in your future, or no? Um, I pursued it a little bit, but I got I got to skip two weeks of school, and then like, they paid me thousands of dollars to do it. And then yeah, it's kind of fun watching yourself. Yeah. On on TV, and that was national TV too. Yeah. So you heard it here first. Mr. Hino wants you to skip two weeks of school, eat buffets all day, and relax. Sounds like a life. <laughs> it sounds like a life. Everyone wants to do that. Okay, before we get full, I think we should amp up the heat a little bit. Alright, so what we have um, here is we got your just classic udon with um, a little sriracha and what? One, one to ten heat, I say is a, a one. Yeah, it's barely anything, probably like minuscule in the scope of the unit. Yeah, I think it's kind of missing something. It's time to. Add some fire to the ramp it up a bit. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Let's actually start off with some, just some straight peppers. Just, just one, one straight pepper each. A classic, a jalapeno. Okay. Grew your own jalapenos a couple weeks ago, right? Yes, this summer I had a, a plant. Yeah. They were really spicy. I had some. Did you? They were probably the spiciest jalapenos ever. I actually did dare my friend to eat one, and he ended up spitting it out because he is that hot. I ate the whole thing raw. I mean, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but yeah. all right. So, uh, cheers. Cheers. It's not even that spicy, but yeah, no. But, but did you know the tips of a pepper are the sweetest part? It's the, the least hot of the whole pepper. Do you like spice? Oh, I love spice. So let's talk about when did you get into culinary? When did you start to find a passion in it? Uh, that mixture of learning how to cook and having fun at it with your with it um, with your friends, and also um, making people happy. Um, that was a good feeling. So I wanted to do that. So you found a way to make your passion viable in life. I don't want to get full on jalapenos, so let's set these aside as well. Yeah, we should move on. Um, let's bring out the first wing. I, if it's oh, alright with wings, me, nice. We do have wings and sauce to go with it. If it's alright with you, I'm gonna have tofu wings just because I prefer the taste. Really? But it probably will be spicier in the long run anyway. Is it boneless? Mine is boneless. Boneless tofu wings. <laughs> okay. Let's start off with a a very mild sauce. This won't be anything to you. This is just flavor. Gotta put my plug in. Aardvark sauce, my favorite hot sauce. It's amazing. I like it too. I've had it. 
I Very sweet. first tried it in some restaurants. The McMinnabins uh, restaurants have this oh, sauce. Okay, I feel like I gotta step it up. Oh, yeah, we gotta taste it. Okay. Alright, hey, cheers. Cheers. It's really sweet. Good. A little smoky. Good flavor. Some yeah. people would freak out that it's too hot. But people like us are like, maybe want more. Yeah, I definitely want more heat, but I'd put it on a sandwich or like, mm -hmm. like slider or something. Oh yes, this is Dave's Ultimate Insanity Hot Sauce. It's not our spiciest hot sauce today. Mm. We're, mm. we're going up to a couple more digits for our final scope units. The first time I ate this was today. Okay. So you, you bought this special for this interview. I got this from my good friend Hunter Zinizek. Uh -huh. He lent it to me, but I did buy a hot sauce for this interview. Just gonna get a little dab of that. I was pretty generous, so. All right, I'll match you. Um, I'm gonna ask you a question before you eat, just so you have some time to process it before the pain starts to kick in. Um, Growing up in Hawaii, you were around a lot of seafood, you got a lot of like cuisine experience there, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. A lot of fresh fish. A lot of fresh fish. So my question is, sushi in today's society, do you think it's over or underrated? My eyes are watering. Yeah, I can tell. <sighs> yeah. Man, I really want to care right now. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's coincidence. So, what's next here? Moving um, right along. Some Serranos. Serranos, all right. You know, a lot of people look at these and automatically assume they're jalapenos. Yep. Uh, they're Serrano chili sauce. Sticking with Serrano. Let's, let's go for it. You want to get another um, tofu wing? Mm-hmm. Here you go. Um, That's a good dollop. I just tried it. Uh, a couple hours ago for the first time because we came back with a ton of sauces and it's got some kick um, You feel the heat tastes like a sweet chili sauce No, I like that. That's good yeah, We'll call that the palate cleanser. Palate cleanser spice. This is magma hot sauce It's 500,000 on the Scoville units So that's about five times as hot as the hottest thing we've had so far. It's hard to even see the yeah. Maybe my eyes are tearing so much that I... No, if, if I don't shake it, it becomes clear. So, I think we should go ahead and have yeah. a bite. Let's do it. This magma. I don't taste any heat yet. Yeah. I don't know about this magma stuff, bro. I don't know if I trust it. Being three times twice as hot as total insanity? Either my mouth's not completely numb or... No? I'm loading you up. Because that's false advertising. Last but not least, Melinda's ghost sauce. Um, it's been a good time, but this brings us to the end of our sauces. Um, All of them have been great. I mean, I've been having a great time. All jokes aside though, this is gonna be absolutely terrible if this isn't also falsely advertised. One million Scoville units. One million Scoville units. Oh. So, <laughs> so, you have your son in class this year. I feel kind of uh, like I didn't get the full package if I didn't get kind of in class. So it's been it's been really nice to, to do, and I'm so glad that we made that made it happen. Goat killer, scary pepper sauce. I should bring on some more. I think that the ultimate insanity was the hottest. Yep. And I am looking at those habaneros. They do look not not looking forward to that. I've actually never taken a bite of habanero. Because this is not a good idea. <sighs> Cheers. That's that voice in your mind that says, why are you doing this? You going for all of it? No. Okay, half. Oh. Mom. If I'm gonna do something, uh, I guess I'm gonna do everything once. <laughs> yeah. Right here, on your show. Right now. I don't know. Like, 
Oh. Oh boy, that's hot. Whoa. Oh, you feel that? Ooh. I don't know if I should chew it or just swallow it, but. Oh. It's definitely a different heat.